Life outside Lincoln Hall goes on as usual, but inside it's eerily quiet and virtually empty for the first time in almost a century. It took an entire summer, but all faculty, staff, and students have vacated the historic classroom and office building in anticipation of a $65 million renovation. Box by box and room by room, workers have cleared years of accumulated books, papers, desks, chairs, computers, and countless other items to make way for the work to begin. We started moving out in June, and so we, we had over 200 30 individuals to move out of the building, which included departments of political science, sociology, communication, student academic affairs, parts of our technology team, Atlas, and uh -huh. the dean's office. Okay. And it's, it's a very difficult move because we're moving everyone to a new location, uh, several locations actually on campus. Cleaning house after 98 years of history has produced some bizarre discoveries. Lincoln Hall Theater has its charm. But emptying its underbelly prompted one worker to recall the TV show, Tales from the Crypt. 34 years ago, this was the theater building, and so everything was stored down here. And then when um, the Cranach Center was built, we moved over to that building. Mm -hmm. But the majority of our storage still stayed here. It's whiskey barrels, crates, vacuums, coffins, uh, mm -hmm. sofas, chairs, tables, body parts. Doors to the building are now chained shut. Administrators hope to reopen a 21st century Lincoln Hall in fall 2012, by which time most students on campus won't even remember what it used to be.